There are no fire hydrants in the central bus facility. This mass, massive facility here with one heck of a fuel load of all these buses, there are no hydrants. The hydrants are on the perimeter streets like 31st Street. So, but they're outside the facility. We do have a source of water though, and that is the facility's fire pump. This is a thousand gallon a minute fire pump, 250, 500, 750, 1,000 gallons a minute. We don't usually use this for fighting fire. This is a test header, a test manifold to make sure that the pump indeed pumps 1,000 gallons a minute. And from here, it supplies the sprinkler systems for every building in this facility. The reason I'm pointing this out is this is our source of water. I have used this for a bus fire. So what you would do is find the pump room, which again is just west of the first big maintenance garage when you enter the complex. And as we make entrance, the water is coming from the city on a water main off of Northwest 32nd Avenue. System pressure is maintained by this jockey pump. It is a diesel powered driver. It, if you'll notice, it has no radiator. It's like a boat engine. You must constantly have water running through the diesel. And where you're getting that from is there is a water line between the discharge side of the pump and the heat exchanger. The cooling line here comes up through the heat exchanger. Primary cooling line, which is controlled by that solenoid-operated valve, if you didn't see water coming out of that, uh, the, the drain for the heat exchanger, turn the secondary one on, okay? And you're going to know that a diesel engine is going to run about 180 uh, degrees of water coolant temperature right here. And again, the water is coming from off the discharge side of the pump through these cooling lines up to the heat exchanger. The coolant doesn't intermingle with the water. It has uh, coils in there in the heat exchanger. From there, it comes out and by design drains so you have a constant circulation. If you shut off the water to this pump with the pump still running, you will burn up this diesel engine. You will burn up that fire pump. This is your day tank, diesel fuel. Now, there's a larger tanks outside, but just for the day, to run for 24 hours, this would be your day tank. How would we use this to fight a fire? We are going to open up this control valve for the test header. It says right here, test header. Now, why is it closed now? It's not a firefighting valve. It's an OS and Y valve. That's closed. This is open. That's closed, so we'd have to open that valve. Then we go over to the panel, put it on manual, and hit start. After we started the pump's diesel engine, we come outside to the test header and open up a discharge, and then we'll follow the water. Now, we could have just as easily had run this 3-inch supply line into the intake of the pump. But we chose, for demonstration purposes, to send it through a master stream device so that you can see how we are using the facility's fire pump as our source of water.